All right, guys, we're in uh, Arapahoe Valley Ranch uh, near Granby, Colorado, and we've came to a schoolie meet up here. And I've met some really interesting, awesome people here, man. And so these are some friends of mine. I'll let them introduce themselves, and we'll give you guys a tour of their bus. I'm JT. I'm Tamara, and this is Callan. And we also have two pups, uh, Hero, he's back there somewhere, and Betsy's running around as well. So it's uh, us three and two dogs. Um, you guys want to check it out? Let's, let's do it. <laughs> this is my, our couch, of course, a uh, little bed rail for when Callan's up there so he doesn't fall off. We just flip it up, but it also does lift up, and it's all storage underneath as well. Okay. And then it also yep. folds out to about a full size bed, so we have extra room. Right. Uh, we didn't really design any tables into our build. We just did the TV trays and put a little stowaway spot for them. We just line them up right here whenever we sure. were eating. Or... Keeping it a lot simple, keeps the floor plan open. Right, and Tamara sews from, from the couch right there on the table and everything. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, a little workstation. Right. Uh, pretty much all of our wood is reclaimed except for the ceiling and the flooring. Um, all this is fence pickets. This was fence supports. Uh, cabinets are all reclaimed from Craigslist. Uh, same with the fridge, uh, I got it off of Craigslist. So we try to keep it, keep budget down as much as possible. Definitely. And these countertops, uh, what are these? It's just, just some old fence cedar, support. Cedar look. fence posts or whatever? Yeah, and I left okay. all the, the texture to it. I kind of yeah. like that style. Keep it nice and rustic. Yeah, just give it a little bit of a different. I like that too. And then here's a little pull out spice rack that we that we made. Yeah. Tamara's a big cooker. She, she had to have her kitchen set up. Very nice. <clears throat> and of course it's an RV fridge so it works off propane and electricity either or. Right. We got our little nature's head compost and toilet in here. Tight spot but get your business done and get out. <laughs> little yep. saloon doors for some privacy. That's and if right. Somebody else is here we just I'll close this, they need a shower or use the restroom, then separates. So shower's just on the opposite side of the just toilet the, here. Exactly. A little, little messy in here, but it's a one piece uh, stainless steel. Yeah, that's um, really cool. Yeah, it came together real nice. Me and my buddy built it. Um, he actually owns a stainless steel shop. Oh, Builds no kidding. Like you industrial guys, drains and everything. You guys made the shower. Yeah, we made it. We Very came. nice, man. Yeah. It's all one piece. We just, I framed out the supports for it. We just slid it right into the frame yeah very cool and then we actually do have quite a bit of closet room um tamara's big clothes person so <laughs> had to have all that gotta and have the fashion our little fold up stuff goes in in baskets like this and callan's little fold up stuff is over here a right. dog kennel for our pups and then also this bed lifts up it's all storage underneath since the bed's made i'm not gonna do it okay but I'll at least show you that it just pretty much just pulls up on a hinge system. Yeah, comes come straight up nice. Exactly. Tons of storage under Tons there. of storage, tons of storage. And the reason you don't see the back door in the, the on the wall back there is because I actually have a garage in my back. And the vent here is... These are actually my driving ACs. Um, building okay. in Texas, I didn't want to rip them out, but after driving it for two years I think I'm actually gonna end up pulling them out Taking and get some out, more headroom do a little remodel also yeah yeah right um we'll have to see I guess it depends where I actually end up because if I end up in Texas I'm probably gonna keep them yeah nice and hot yeah it's nice to have driving ACs in Texas so let's see when you started the build you you guys were just together and didn't have a baby on the way so yeah we actually finished our build and then found out we were pregnant so there's going to be some remodeling as, as it comes, but of course, little things like this bed rail helps. Um, once he gets a little older, he's actually going to migrate onto the couch here as his bed. Right. Um, but for now, he sleeps with us. Very um, cool. He's still pretty young. And then, I don't know. I don't know what exactly our plan is. We'll, we'll see as time comes, see yep. what we have to build for him. Definitely. But Thank we've we've made it work. We've already lived in it for going on two years now. Full time. Now, full time. On a piece of property up in Colorado. Right. Right. Yep. right. We have property in Colorado, and then we also have some acreage we stay at in Texas on our family's land. So okay. we're just kind of back and forth between here and there. Right. 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 Very nice. So what made you decide you thought you wanted to live a lifestyle like this? 
Uh, well, for me, I kind of grew up a little unfortunate. I guess you can say that. That's what the term is. Um, I was just a little more on the poor side. Um, but we always had a happy life. We always had everything we needed. So going out of high school, I chased money. I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna live that life. It wasn't what it was cut out to be. Right, it, right. It's more life should be more about living to me and to my wife. Yes. Um, we just we want to live more, experience more, worry less. I mean, of course, the more more things you have to worry about, the more your headache is it comes down to it. Yeah. So we just the more things you own, the more possessions you have, the more things that own you, and, and just following that system, that everyday norm that everybody gets beat up by. It's just it's, right. It, it gets tiring. The constant struggle of having yeah. to pay the bills, and yeah. Yep. And then me living a simpler life whenever I was younger, just kind of, I was able to see real quick the pros and cons of everything, and find out that this is definitely a simple life is. It's really for easy us, to yeah. For us for sure really easy to gravitate to this because exactly. of your past experiences exactly very cool um you want to show us around the outside real fast yeah, you're... give these guys a shot at the outdoors see what the exterior looks like a little dirty we're in some dirt <laughs> we're having a great time out here though this is wonderful yeah so the door okay. is actually out of old school building as well uh, oh no kidding picked it up for free painted it the school bus yellow just to give us some a little more flair right Here's the front of it, guys. School of Life. And it's very fitting with the baby that came along and all that good stuff. Ross is Stripe. We love our reggae music. That's kind right. of a big influence on us as well. Yeah. As you can tell by the shirt you're wearing. Yeah. <laughs> and in here is kind of like my whole water setup my water storage, my hot water heater, um, everything, all my water system is all right here. How does that do in Colorado in the winters? Or, or you head back to Texas during the winters, right? Um, actually, I, I put it through the test, and as long as my tank's pretty, if it's if it's low, it'll it'll freeze. Um, if it's full, tanks are hard to freeze. Most people have problems when they're actually running a direct line in. Okay. You gotta keep a heated hose and stuff like that. Yep. But with insulating the box and everything, I even have a little space heater I can throw in there. Okay haven't had a problem yet very cool and you're up here in the winter yeah using I, thing. I actually experienced about two weeks solid in in the mountains up there that was freezing all day we did really well we don't have a big solar setup we just <laughs> 400 watts array but i have about 270 amperage hours in battery so i got a pretty good battery bank yeah uh just that way I can throw some more panels up and bump it up to a 24 volt system when I get some money and time. Yeah, you have to charge up a little sooner in the day and whatnot. Yeah. Yep. All right, so this was the tour of the School of Life right here with JT. Give me a hug, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's a good guy. For sure. You too, man.